Hey guys, this is Itisha and in this video, we are going to build this carousal or this slider. So carousals are an effective way to show content and it can make your website look really clean. So today we'll be building this review carousal that you can use on your website to show any type of reviews. In a similar manner, you can create other carousals as well. So without any further delay, let's dive in. So I've already set up this React project named Reviews Carousal and I've also installed Tailwind CSS in it. If you're not aware of the Tailwind CSS installation process in a React project, I have made a separate video on that. The link of it is given in the description box and also at the top. Now let's start creating some demo reviews. But before that, if we have a look in here, there is a background color that we have given to the whole body so that these cards look clear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in my index.css file, which was created during the Tailwind CSS installation process. And to my base layer, within the body, I'm going to give it a background color and save. Let's see if it is getting reflected. Yeah, a background color is added. Now it's time to create these cards. So for creating these review cards, we are first going to create an array of objects wherein each object is going to have three major things, the image, the name and a review. And then we are going to iterate through that array using a map. So uh, I'm going to go within my app.js file and create an array of objects. I'm going to call it data. Here you can see we have the name, the image, which is basically saved in the students folder within the public folder and also a review. Now to this outer div, I'm going to give it a property of width of three by four and a margin of auto so that it comes in the center and also a specific width of 75% is given to uh, the cards that we are going to create and save. Also within it, I'm going to create another div. So if you see here, there is a margin top that is given. So I'm going to give it a class name, give it a margin top of 20. Now I'm going to go inside this and going to iterate through this using a map. And now the first thing that we are going to create is the card item. So I will create a div for that. Within this div, we are going to have two more divs. One div will take care of the image that we have and then there is going to be an another div which will take care of the name, the review and the button that we are going to create. So to this first div, I'm going to create an image tag, give it a source of D dot image, give the alt as empty for now. And then in this another one, I'm going to create a P tag, which will take care of the individual's name and then another p tag which will take care of the review and then we are going to create a button which will say read more and save let's see so yeah we can see that images are displaying and also the rest of the information that we have added for each of the person is also getting displayed now we just need to style it so to this outer div i'm going to give it a background so all the cards should have a background of white and also i want to give them a specific height so that they look similar so i'll give it a height of 450 pixels and within it i'm going to write the text in black color and also i want to give it a border radius of excel since there is an image in it i need to give this rounded excel property individually to this image as well so instead I will give it rounded top of Excel and this image that we have, I want it to be in the center. So if we have a look in here, so there is a background color that is given and then the image is kept in a circular boundary. So first I will give it a specific width and a height. So I'll give it a height of 44 width of 44 and give it a rounded full property, but I want it in the center and with a background so let me give it a background indigo of 500 and also i'm going to use the flex property so that this comes in the middle so i'll give it a justify center items center property okay and save. so yeah we can see that these cards are created and uh, we have the images as well but we also should give a specific height to this component so here i'm going to give a height of say 56 Okay, now it's looking better. Now the last thing that is left is to style these texts that we have. So to this div that we have created, I'm going to use a flex column property so that I'm able to uh, line up these things one below the other. I'm going to give it a justify center property item center. 
and also I'll give a gap and a padding and save. Okay, now we can see that they have come in the middle. We just need to style uh, the name. I'll make it a bit bold and also the button. So to this P tag that I've created, I'll give, give a text of Excel font as semi bold. And to this button, uh, let me style this. I'll give it a background of indigo of 500, just like how I've given to the image background. And also I'll keep the text as white. Let me increase the font size. So I'll give the text as LG. Also, I want some padding around uh, within the button. So I'll give it a PX of six, PY of one and a rounded of Excel. Okay, now we can see that all of these cards are styled up properly. Now it's time to create a carousal of all of these cards that we have created. So for creating the slider, we are going to use React Slick, which is a carousal component built with React. So for using it, we need to do two installation. First is React Slick and other is a Slick carousal, which includes the CSS related to it. So let's first copy this from here. Open the terminal in our project and paste what we have just copied. So this is installed. Now let's install this one as well. And after installation, we are going to import both of them in our project. So let me minimize this a bit. Now uh, for importing this, we first need to write this line. So we need to import slider from React slider. And then we also include these CSS files in here. So let me copy these and paste it. Okay. Once this is installed, we just uh, need to use our slider component. So if we go to the examples and go within multiple items, since we have multiple items that we want to show on the screen. Uh, so we can just write this slider component and specify some settings. So let's first have this and then we will specify the settings. So we want it in here and we also need to close this one. So also, we need to specify these settings. Let me tell you what these settings mean. So the first setting is about dots. So if you want the dots to be there below the uh, carousal that you are creating, you can specify it to be true or false. If you want to move your carousal infinitely, you can specify this as true or false. Then you can specify the speed. How many slides you want to show initially? If you want to specify less number of slides, you can write it one, two or even more. And then on scrolling, when the person click on the uh, arrow buttons that are there, how many slides should it scroll? So we want it to just scroll one slide and save. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, now we can see that our uh, slider is getting generated. We have these arrows. So let's click on these and see. Yeah, they are moving perfectly fine. And if we go back and they are moving infinitely. So there is just one thing that is bothering me and that is there is no gapping in between these uh, cards that we have created. Since we are using the CSS that is provided by React Slick, there is a diff which is uh, inside this slick slide. Uh, so we just need to specify some margin and then it should be done. So yeah, we have these spaces as well. So congratulations, we have successfully built our reviews carousal and in a similar manner, you can create other type of carousals as well. And that's all for this video. Now you can see how easy it was with the react slick to create these carousal images. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such videos in future. See you in the next one.